Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at FITM for the opening of the 11th Annual Outstanding Art of Television Costume Design. Congratulations on the nomination. Thank you very much. Talk about your biggest challenge when it came to Westworld with creating this. Um, I think our biggest challenge is, you know, it's always time when you're doing when you're doing a show. Um, it's always figuring out like how you can build all the things that you want to build and have the amount of time that you want to have, getting actors in to get fittings with them. So we had a challenge. We definitely had a budget challenge, you know, so you can always use a little bit more money. But, you know, I have to say I had a really, really great team, and I think that's a huge benefit. I had people that worked really, really hard, and we worked long hours. And Lisa and Jonah, the, the show creators, were really supportive and very open about being creatively collaborative. So, you know, I think the challenge is just trying to get it all done in time. Yeah. After you have such a hit like Westworld, do you look for the next season and go, can I have a little more money for next season? I, oh, I didn't do the whole season. So generally I come in and I do a pilot mm -hmm. um, on, on shows. And then move on. And then move on, yeah. So when you're creating this whole world, you're setting the tone then for the rest of the season. So you really have to have a strong vision so then anyone who's taking over after you can continue that. Definitely. And the, one of the things that's quite interesting about Westworld, I think, compared to other seasons um, and other series, is with Westworld, because so many of the characters in it are the host in the park, they stay the same throughout almost the entire season. So, like, you'll see Maeve and Clementine and Dolores and Teddy and the Man in Black are all in their same costume for almost the entire season, if not like the entire season. And also, you know, it was like we shot a lot, uh, quite a bit of footage, so we were able to use some of the stuff that, that was, we shot for the pilot was in like, say, episode two and episode four and episode five. So it was nice to watch the series and kind of see my costumes coming up, you know, through different, different episodes it was really cool. But it is interesting about having that be, you know, trying like the, the thought pattern we had when we were doing all the principles that I knew weren't going to change. Something that you wouldn't tire of, that the actor wouldn't tire of, and that kind of stayed very fresh. And so that was kind of the way we had to look at it. And like making, like the, with these particular costumes, making these women seem like the candy of the town that you could catch, you know, they caught your eye quite easily. So we just tried to do that with everyone that we had, making the costumes interesting enough that you wouldn't tire of them for a whole season. That's a really great point. I also want to know behind the scenes, when you're sort of passing the baton, is there any sort of communication with the person that, that takes your position of just saying, you know, this is what I did just so you know and, and good luck and here we go. <laughs> well, yeah, and I mean, I think what you do is like you kind of set up like we left all of our research and everything like that and all, you know, you leave all your continuity books and so there is this theme and this vibe and this world that's been creative and then it's up to the person who takes over to discuss with the director like how, how they want to continue that, if there's things that they want to change and you try and be as available as you can for any kind of, you know, any kind of co communication or any questions. So yeah, I just, I think it just depends on each, each particular, you know, series is different. It's fascinating, though. It really is. So that yeah. you do, you do. You're like, I'm, I'm going to leave behind my book. <laughs> and it's really hard too because you're kind of handing over your babies, you know, to someone, and you're just kind of keeping your fingers crossed and hope it all goes well. And you know, and like I did say, like when I saw my costumes when I came in here and I saw them, I'm like, oh, I can see they've been worn quite a lot. You know, the colors faded quite a bit, which makes me happy, but also it's a little, you know, it's a little disheartening. Yeah. yeah, and they had to wear them all season long, but yeah. at the same time, you're like, oh, I know what they looked like at the beginning yeah, when we totally. shot the pilot. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a fascinating concept, though, because you are you are really handing over the reins, and you're like, here's my baby, here's all my research too. Right. And you you guys did a lot of the front work, so we did. Yeah, we did a lot of research, and I tend to do that on each project. But we just had walls and walls of just research everywhere, you know. And it was like because we had all the period stuff, we had all the things on like Native Americans, we had things on gunslingers, then everything contemporary wise. Then it was the that live down below and autopsies and you know and like pretty much everything you could imagine we had in there because we had such a array of characters that we had to build. That's amazing. I have to ask because I know you just did Dark Tower, you've done TV, you've created looks for Christina Aguilera which I think for a lot of people really remember that whole uh, period. Is there something that you prefer to work in or do you like to kind of go from project to project, whatever, you know, really gets you going passionately? I think it's, it's all, it's an individual basis on what the project is. I just finished a film that we shot in Budapest called Red Sparrow that's contemporary, but it's like kind of an espionage thing. And I got to do a ballet in that, and a lot of contemporary clothes, and that was quite interesting. And I think for me, a lot of times it's either the story or it's the director. 
you know, that I want to work with. So, And you hope you get to do really interesting clothing as well. And the costumes, you hope, are something that's challenging for you. But sometimes, you know, you just have to base it. For me, sometimes I just base it on story. Oh, I love that. I always want to know, like, how people yeah. pick projects and things like that. Well, congratulations on the Thank nomination. You. We'll you see so you at the Creative Arts cool. Emmys. Thank you, you so bet. much. Have a good night. Thank Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what you think the best dress show on TV is.